I'm at the Sunny Farms landfill in Loudoun Township where there is a noticeable odor in the air, but locals nearby say what they're really worried about are the health issues it may bring them. We have a landfill that's located, I believe, about three miles or so from our house. The last few years have gotten really bad. Burning eyes, uh, watering eyes, our throats were burning. My husband, you know, he seemed to be a little more sensitive to it than I was. Eventually, I contacted Seneca County Health Department. Um, they came out. That's where we first heard the H2S, the hydrogen sulfide. According to OSHA, H2S is a colorless, flammable, and extremely hazardous gas with the smell of rotten eggs. And it comes from the breakdown of waste, which comes in daily by rail through the town of Astoria, where Nikki and her family live. There's been issues um, for many years, but um, I know in our experience, the last few years have been a lot worse. We don't know how it was happening, but somehow the leachat that they were pumping through the city system went right in front of our, it goes right in front of our house. And somehow it was getting from the sewer into our house. It makes you like embarrassed, you know, you, just to have visitors come in to town um, for businesses. I can't imagine, you know, if I were a business owner, I'd be really upset. Doesn't happen all the time, but it's been sporadic. And when it starts happening during the business day, it, it gets kind of concerning to me. You know, it starts affecting, uh, you know, business here. So, you know, people coming downtown, you know, it's just, it's just not attractive. It's not what we want in our community. So, and I feel really bad for the people that live, you know, close to that and are affected a lot worse than we are even here. Those people include Steve Bullion, who lives just three miles from the landfill. Here this winter particularly, it got real strong again. Uh, December was horrible. Uh, you know, I, we're seeing a lot of emotion out there, a lot of fear out there on a lot of different areas, the air, the water, the litter, the railroad cars, uh, no improvement. Uh, you know, we have grandkids that come occasionally, little ones, and uh, it, I don't want them breathing it. You know, I hear some real scary stuff about hydrogen sulfide. My daughter, I had, she was eight at the time. Over Christmas break, we were here a lot more, um, just because we weren't in school. Um, and she would sleep like 18 hours a day and wake up and still be tired. I think it's really hurt uh, the reputation of the town. Uh, didn't need another hit. You know, it's lost a lot of industry and, and a, lot of, uh, a lot of tough times. And we didn't need this on top of it, you know, uh, with uh, getting the reputation of being the, the stinking town. I mean, it doesn't reflect good on, on anybody. And you know what? It's not just Fostoria. It affects other communities. There's, a, you know, you have Rural, you have Bascom, you have New Regal, Tiffin, you have Finley, and it's re Arcadia. I know it's reached out people in those areas. So it's not just a Fostoria issue. The company's website says it is capable of processing more than 65 rail cars a day. The landfill is allowed to accept 7,500 tons of trash a day. We're the dumping ground for you know, New York and Massachusetts and I think, what do they say, four states, Connecticut and Rhode Island. It's, it's not our trash. And I'm sure the profits are not going to us, you know, this community other than maybe a little tax money they're paying. I mean, I would like to see the place shut down until they get that under control and can prove that they're, they're not going to emit those orders, you know. I mean, that's pretty much the solution. The problem is make them do what they need to do to get that issue under control and then let them reopen. At least like to see the smell controlled, the water tested regularly, very regularly, and um, every step taken to um, not only monitor that but to correct it. You know, and every, you know everybody blames the previous owners and the previous managers, and you know we're doing it. Everybody, we're tired of hearing that. Just you own it now, you fix it now. You know. The issue will be discussed at a Seneca County Board of Health meeting on February 28th. Roxana Elias, The Blade.